Uh, we got over here, yes. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Kat, third time monkey. Um, my question is about shopping. So uh, I don't think that we buy a lot of diamonds as a group. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> and so I'm wondering how that affects um, the finances of the cruise and how Hal feels about it and what the impact of that is. The immediate thing on that is most of the vendors and services are contractors, and we are a tiny drop for them. So we basically can't touch most of that. As far as our own finances, um, they do all the cruise lines track onboard revenue and how much is made. It does have a, a minor effect to us. Uh, the casino actually is the thing where they know we know math and we're not going to play slots. <laughs> Some of us do. Is that was, it, was it last year? One of the meetings, they were like, "Well, the casino's in the negative right now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, that's great. Like we're happy you're making money, but and it does mean if they're not making that revenue there, they know when it's time to negotiate that so, they're not going to see that much revenue. So all of that said, we need we all, need you to lose money. All, we need all of you in this room as soon as we are done to go buy fifty thousand worth dollars worth of diamonds and then bet it all on black. <laughs> well, we well we do see you know that the ship up tracks their revenue as well, and you know while the. While we're not selling a lot of art, although last year we sold a big piece, and we're not selling a lot of diamonds, although somehow someone bought a giant diamond last year also. Last year was a big year for buying yeah, a shop person. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There was, right. The, there was the one guy in the Uncle Penny, uh, the Uncle Moneybag suit in the monocle. <laughs> His water going to Give me one diamond and one art. The ship does see really significant expanded traffic at the bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess generally compared to a, a standard uh, cruise of just cruise cruises, cruise people, um, that's the technical term. That's what they call it in the industry. Yeah, the uh, we, we underperform in casino, shops, uh, spa, a little bit. Shop, no, actually spa. Oh, we just look at the And the, the art gallery. gallery. Because you're nervous, but you still like to be smooth. Right. <laughs> The photos, which like, I, it's nobody, it's, <laughs> even in regular cruises, nobody, everybody has cameras in their pockets now, so it's weird that they have a photo. Yeah. Yeah. Friends is one of the photographers, and I ask him how it's going. He just kind of looks at me and like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> but we do work with Holland America as much as possible to try to, um, to, to present to you things you enjoy, because we never want to sell people things that, that we know you don't want. We're not going to say, Slot machines are the best things in the world. Learn to be like that. But if there are opportunities to to help them provide you things on board that are premium experiences, we'd love to do it. We try uh, every year. We try and recommend, and as Storm says, uh, these, uh, most of these uh, various shopping places are third party. But we try and recommend, say for the art gallery, like bring on some signed animation cells from Pixar movies or Warner Brothers cartoons, things like that. We try and encourage it, but there's only so much we can do. And you know, it costs them a certain amount to ship it. Yeah, and they don't have the, they don't always have that stock or this yeah. because they're they're designed to serve a different uh, set. But we do at least try to find ways to get those types of things better geared towards our demographics. It's actually the same company that run all of the airport shops. Like it's basically two companies that own them all. So if you see something in the airport shop that you really want on Joe Cruise, let us know. <laughs> <laughs>